Hello everybody and welcome to a brand new series on the channel here. This is the second time I've had to record this because it all went wrong immediately last time. So we're going to start this series all over again. We are in fact playing Prison Architect as many as you can tell. I do need to pause the game. So if you haven't played this game before it answers that age old question of can I run a maximum security prison? Okay no one's ever asked that question to themselves before but I felt like saying that anyway. Uh, so what we're going to be doing now is building a little prison for ourselves, trying to make it as successful as possible. Uh, so the last time I did this, as I said, I've actually recorded a couple of episodes already, but by kind of the start of episode 2 we'd already gone horribly, horribly wrong. So we're going to start all over again. You will have to kind of excuse, like last time I recorded this I cut out all of this planning stage, because watching me trying to figure out maths is probably the most boring thing in the world. Uh, well, I know it's the most boring thing in the world. You don't need to tell me. Uh, but I'm going to do it anyway on camera. I decided it will be fun just to show you my kind of thought process on different aspects of the prison. Uh, just so you can see kind of what, what's going through my mind as I build. So we'll start off straight away with this kind of my standard introduction to a prison, which is a little entrance way so we can have some locked doors, uh, a reception here which I think is the most important room in the prison for me uh, because it, it allows you to search the prisoners when they immediately arrive and it sort of instantly cuts down the problem of smuggled goods especially drugs and alcohol and then a rather big holding cell which will be very useful later on. Now what I did last time was I did quite an open prison so I sort of had a cell block over here and a cell block over there a couple of buildings in the middle but on the second day on the not even the second day it was the start of the second day uh, we had someone escape very easily, so kind of having to have a rethink about what I did. Now the problem last time, very simply, was that I forgot to do the road gates, so I'm just going to make sure I mark them immediately. I don't think I can build... can I build anything? No, I can't build anything on that square. Okay, so we'll change that to be here, just going around like that. And this time I'm not going to go for such an open prison, I think I'm going to stick to a kind of Standard design. What my kind of plan for this series is, we're going to build one prison, which will be a very simple prison, uh, just to get things working, kind of get some experience and, and make sure everything works in a particular style. And then we'll probably use the finance tool to sell this prison and then move on and build kind of my ideal prison, I guess I'd say. So this will be like your bog standard prison. It'll be very blocky, very uh, focused on sort of capacity and, and making sure everything fits together. And then I think we'll sell this and move on to a more sort of open type of prison, which I think will be quite fun to build. And what we're going to do is we're going to have a little uh, corridor like this, which will lead into the offices. So the offices need to be 6x6, six six, so the four in the middle. So we're going to do it, in fact we could probably move these up a little bit and then we can have doors either side. So essentially we want 12, not 12x12, 12 12x6 12, 12 even, so 4x4 wall. Hang on, I've messed this up. Okay, I've completely messed this up. My maths is absolutely appalling. There we go. Okay, so that's a 4x4 four four office there and there. And it means we can kind of have the walls like that, but then have a little corridor running up to the next set of offices. So, 6x6. Six six. Oh dear, I did it wrong again. I told you, this is why I planned it out last time beforehand, because otherwise it's just me being terrible at maths. Right, so that should be... Right, there we go, okay. So that will essentially run up like that. And then we can have another sort of two-size corridor and have, like, the cleaning cupboard, maybe, you know, a little cleaning cupboard here, and then sort of security and things. I think that will work quite well, actually. I've not really tried that idea before. But uh, actually, that could be the storage room as well. So we have a nice big storage room connected like that because they have to come through the main entrance it's going to be a bit of a bother for the staff when the prison opens and all the doors are locked but it means we can sort of make sure everything's being metal detected very nicely so we have that like that and then we can have the cleaning cupboard here say uh, for example and then lock that off at the top i think that will work quite well as a little staff area and then that leaves this bit down here clear for visitation which I always like to put at the start of the prison so if we do something very similar and have uh, a little corridor like this maybe have just visitation like oops don't know why that happened like that so it's quite a big big space uh, in fact we'll make it one wider so we can have because I think the visitation booths are two by two so we can have them like that and then have another entrance down here so that's the like the 
uh, visitor's entrance. This is the prisoner entrance. And then another visitor entrance here where we have, you know, the, the table. I can't remember how big the tables are. I think they're, they're like that. So we could have one there, one there, one there, and one there. So we've got plenty of visitation space. I th that, think that will work quite well. But we won't build that until later on. Um, then coming off of here, obviously we want some doors so they can actually get out, which is always useful, I found. Um, I think I want to build the canteen up here somewhere, so kind of a little a little gap for the staff to come through, and then a nice big kitchen so we can have plenty of space. I mean, that's not very big. One, two, one, two. So we're going to get a couple of cookers down there, and I think the sinks are four. I don't think that's quite big enough, so we're going to add another two on top. This obviously won't be for, you know, the entire prison. I think I think they're four, or there might be three. And then some freezers down here like that. Uh, and then door, door. I think that might be a decent sized kitchen to start with. And then a nice big canteen like that. 10 by 14, that seems a good size because then we can have serving table. I think they're five, yeah. Serving table, serving table, and, you know, table and bench like that. I think that's a good size kitchen and canteen to start with. We do need a shower room. I might kind of go back to what I usually do and have a shower room in the holding cell like this. So, you know, shower, 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 and then drains. Uh, and then we'll have, you know, the benches and everything. I think that will work quite well because then we can get that grant fitted off because I'm going to try and make each individual cell have its own shower so the prisoners can have that security and comfort for themselves. Uh, and then the cell block itself. I think we'll leave a nice big open space. I'll... How big do I want the yard to be? I think I'll put, like, a fence there. So, in fact, no, the fence can be there, because prisoners don't need to go up there. That's just for staff. So if that goes there like that, um, and they're like, maybe they're like, oops, didn't mean to do it by two. I like to have everything sort of fit to shape quite nicely. 23 by 9, that seems a good size. And we do have these random little bits like this. Hmm, those might annoy me, actually. I can leave them for now. They're kind of just empty spaces, really. And I think it's a bit nicer than having everything connected together. In fact, that could be... I was going to say that could be a solitary cell, but that seems a bit cruel. Uh, it could be for now. Just, like, to start off, have two little solitary cells there. Uh, just for the very naughty prisoners. Yeah, I think that's a good size yard. And then that connects onto the first cell block. So if we get rid of those and put some double doors there... And then have, in fact, have that as a wall. Just, like, yeah, that's a good size. And then, try to figure out what kind of cell I want. So if we build the walls off like this and leave another little gap there. And I know the little gaps might annoy some people, but I feel like it makes the prison feel a little bit nicer. Uh, so each cell is 2 by 3 So each cell has to be like that. So I don't think there's much point putting one there. So let's... Video, this episode will probably just be me planning the cells out. So, four and like that. So, that's one, two, three, four. That's five cells, which is a good amount. And then we have a, a gap of two and then a wall down like that. I tend to like to build them in like groups of five. So, you get sort of ten per block. I feel like that's a good number to not cause too many problems and easily kind of keep an eye on them. So, if you want another two like that. Um, I think that will work out quite nicely. And we could actually add another one on top like that. I mean, there is a gap of three now, which is a bit annoying. Uh, but I could make this kind of like a common room here. Uh, not walled in or anything, just... In fact, we could make all of this a common room. No, just all of that as a common room. Uh, just to give them somewhere to go. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Or we... <sighs> We could just have a big common room like this. So you've still got that gap of... T yeah, let's do that. Build a wall across there. And we've got a nice wide common room. Not a big common room, but a wide one. Uh, which might be a bit of an annoying shape, but... And then obviously door, 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 door. There. Oops, no. Ah, no. Everything went wrong. Doors like that. And then door, door. Oh, it was all saving us. wondering what was happening then. Door. So we've got 15 prisoners per block. I feel like that's a good amount. Uh, and then they've got no 
kind of escape route. They've got to come out into the yard here. I think these little spaces in between are going to be useful in terms of having staff. I mean, we could have like a staff door. No, we'll keep these as cells. But we could have like a staff door there and a staff door uh, somewhere else just to kind of speed up access a little bit. I feel like that's a good idea. Now, we do need a utility room somewhere central. So I am playing on a medium map, by the way, with temperature and uh, gangs on. So it's going to be a bit of a challenge. I mean, maybe we could have a utility room. I mean, with all the capacitors, the power station needs to be 5x5. Five five. I can't build on there, so that's not going to work. I mean, I could... Hmm, that's actually not too bad a place for it. And then uh, water pump and boiler. So we just kind of attach that to the side. It's a bit messy. Um, and then obviously that's the fence. That is a little bit messy, but I feel like it keeps it out the way. We're not going to need that space for anything else in particular. Uh, we're also going to make across the road as deliveries and uh, garbage for now and then eventually we'll change it to exports when we can. So we can do it like that and like that leave a little bit of space in between. Uh, so that's going to be, let's go through the rooms again and then I can start laying some foundations. So entranceway, if I will go back to planning, entranceway, reception, holding cell, shower, yard, kitchen canteen, ah that's a point that uh, maybe we could have kind of the prisoners have to go through the common room to get to the canteen or is that a little bit a bit messy uh, I mean again it kind of controls the flow of prisoners so they can't sneak off through here and, and go off they've got to go from their cells up into the canteen and it's kind of no distractions on the way I guess I'd say actually I think yeah I think they'll work quite well uh, big can uh, kitchen there officers uh, storage and cleaning cupboard, uh, utilities down here, visitation eventually, but we're not going to build that in yet. I think that will work out quite well, so let's give this a go. As I said, this is going to be our first prison. If it all goes wrong, we will start again, as I already have done once, but let's just get building, get some positiv positivity. Let's not think this is going to fail immediately. We are going to build most of this office build. In fact, we'll build... Might as well build all of this so it's ready to go. Kitchen and canteen obviously needs to be built. Not going to build the cell block just yet because it's just going to take up too much money. Uh, so that's all we need, I think. Yard, kitchen, canteen, holding cell, uh, shower room, two offices. Yeah, that's all we need right now. So we'll also get the fences going because I don't want a repeat of last time where they escaped within a day. Oh, we need to build the utility room as well. Which is going to be a bit annoying now I've built the fence. If we get rid of that and build this foundation. And we'll just stick like a staff room on the side of it. So this needs a large jail door. We'll put the doors in while we're here. Might as well. Although we are going to need an entrance way to the canteen. Oh, that's going to be frustrating actually. Um, hang on, we'll build. Why isn't that building? Want that as well. Uh, so, staff door goes there, and then a staff door on the sides like that. Staff door into the storage room. Won't build a staff door there yet, because we don't need the cleaning cupboard yet. And a staff door... Um, staff door just on the side there. Unlikely anyone's going to need it. So I'm just trying to figure out how we get them into the canteen without having to kind of mess up our initial plans. Um... I and mean, we could just build, like, a temporary door on the side here and stretch the fence across. Yeah, let's just slap a door there. Need a staff door there, there, there. And then once that's all done, we'll build the fence around to... Yeah, I think that will work out right. So we'll set our little, our little dudes here working away on these foundations. They are going to build the fence first, which is a bit annoying. But it also stops people from escaping. And very quickly we're going to build a road gate and a road gate there. So that we're kind of prepared for that eventually. So they're going to start building the foundations now. Uh, I think it's looking good. I think this is going to be a decent prison. Because the good thing about this is that we can now just like expand it on the back here. We are playing on a medium map. Which maybe I should have done a large map. But 
just to start with go for a medium one so i can just kind of slap another 15 cells underneath and then have a room at the top again maybe a laundry room up there to service this so we'll have 30 prisoners per block and then we can move on have another little gap maybe another yard there and another 30 cells but that's all for the future right this is now done so we'll get the utilities done as soon as we can so we're not sat waiting around. We are going to need a boiler as well, which is a bit annoying because it's an extra cost, but I feel like adding that makes it more of a challenge if you add weather. I'm going to build three capacitors very quickly. This is done. They're actually moving very quickly through this. Uh, so brick wall, brick wall. Oops. Okay, good. It cancelled it. So this is going to be our shower room. Uh, this is going to be our holding cell. And so is this bit. And this bit. This is our reception room. So we are going to have to build the objects. We'll wait until they finish the foundations and all the materials first and then add the... Um, uh, what's it we call it? Objects, that's the word I'm looking for. I couldn't remember the word for it. Because I feel like if we give them too much to do, we're not going to get this finished in time for the first set of prisoners. We can now build that fence across there uh, just to block that bit off. In fact, we can now build this fence as well. Though I'm hoping... Oops, I forgot to put a door on the back here. So they're a bit trapped if they go that way. Uh, we can also build this fence now. So if we just build it, uh, we'll keep it too wide. And then build it like that. And like that. And for now, we'll just cross it there. So we are going to have to do quite a lot of kind of deleting fences later on, but I feel like it'll be alright in the long run. Once we complete these grants, we can start working on the holding cell anyway, and hopefully these grants can be done quite quickly. Now, they look like they've built most of the walls, so we'll build a couple of shower heads in there, uh, quite a few drains to make sure it stays dry. We'll build a bench across the top there and there, and uh, we'll build two toilets. We'll be nice. We need an office desk, I tend to build the reception in the same way every time. A uh, table at the bottom here, with another chair there. Build another one there as well, why not? Uh, and these need to be offices, so these need a similar thing. In fact, we'll room them so it's a bit easier to find objects. So these need an office desk, office desk, filing cabinet, filing cabinet, and a chair and a chair. Right, so that should be everything getting built. Oh, I forgot to build this wall. Probably the most important wall in the thing to build the kitchen and canteen. So it sounds like they've built the power, which is good. Canteen there. Kitchen there. So we'll pause it for a second just while I put all the objects in. So I'm not missing out too much. Serving table. Serving table. And then bench, 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 bench. And then put the tables between them. Uh, a cooker. We'll go here. Oops. Yeah. Okay. Here. And we'll build three for now. We'll build one sink. I think that should be enough. And then a fridge. Like that. That should be enough for now, I think, to get on with. Uh, every room will have what it needs. We can also start to build the power now. Obviously, that will need power. We'll stretch it up to here and then across like that. And I think we'll go sort of follow the corridors a little bit with the power. And then kind of stretch them into each individual room. In fact, if that room is done now, we can change that into a storage room. So we've got somewhere for... Oh, that's a staff room. I do need a staff room as well. I, I kind of forgot about that for a moment. Uh, how long... Staff room needs to be 4x4. Four four. That's not 4x4, four four, is it? That's. Oh, no, that's... I think for now we'll have that as the staff room. We will eventually move it, but I think that's a decent place for it to start with. So that needs a wide sofa and a drinks machine. We don't have that many staff either, so it doesn't like... It's not like it has to be a, a massive thing... Uh, build a couple of drinks machine. We'll get them a TV as well, why not? Put that in the corner. Uh, that needs to be a storage room, which it is. Right, I think this is going quite well to start with, actually. Oh, we need pipes as well. Uh, lesson learned, don't put large pipes in cells. Very important thing to remember. So we'll do it into the holding cell, because it's not likely to try and break out of the holding cell. Uh, we'll do that like that. And then that needs a small pipe up... Uh, oh no, it needs to be to the sink here. Might as well do it like that. 
and then the toilets which are there will need small pipes and this can just run around like that that should work we also need hot water pipes at some point that needs power as well so we'll just connect to mundo that up i'll well build it around like that uh hot water pipes uh i need a radiator in the holding cell could probably just go so sort of, no we'll put it by the door i think because then it also runs into the shower and they can have a nice hot shower which will make them nice and happy although it's not too cold yet but i don't want to kind of be unprepared or oh, that's not a good place for it we'll put it there and we just need to stretch that across right that should be everything to get this prison set up and ready to go i think uh we'll wait and see i can't think of anything i'm missing i do need to oh i need to sort of put this as the yard as well so do it like that and then we'll add a couple of phone booths so they can call their families tell them what a nice prison they're in uh, probably too many phones for now, but I'd rather give them too much than too little. And a couple of weights benches as well. Right, so that's slowly being built up. It looks like they're focusing on the utilities, which is fine. I like to get utilities set up as soon as possible. So we're nice and prepared for our first set of prisoners. We'll hire a warden now just to make sure we have the money for it. Uh, we'll also... Should we hire... No, we'll wait to hire guards and cooks until we're kind of ready to go in a way. So it looks like most of the lights are installed. We're just waiting for the cables to go in. And of course the hot water pipes. Everything should... I'm just going to do a double... a little sweep. So there's no way... there's a fence there so they can't run up there. There's a fence being built there so they can't run off there. Can't go down there, can't go across there. Road gates to stop them just sprinting out. Which I think is making it a bit annoying for staff to get around but they'll have to manage for now. They can cut through from the kitchen into there and they just have to go around, uh, which is fine. We will eventually have to change, although the foundation will be easy to build because we can build the foundation and then just change this into a brick wall, so it shouldn't be too much of an issue in that respect. Same here, we just need to build the foundation and delete the fence a little bit and we should be fine and ready to go. Still waiting for objects to be put in, but... Electricity is being sorted, which is nice. All the utilities, I should say. I mean, maybe I could build a staff door uh, somewhere else, because they are all having to go around into this gap, which for some reason isn't being built, which is a bit annoying. I do kind of want that as a bit of a priority right now, because uh, I can get through the road gate and go around, which is a bit longer, but it's fine. As long as we get the most important bits set up, we'll be fine. Why is it saying that's not enclosed by doors. Oh, does it need a door on the shower as well? We'll just put a normal door there, I think. So we don't have to wait for staff or anything. In fact, that's the wrong way around. I don't like that. There we go. Because it's got doors everywhere else. It's just this one room, which maybe it's a bit unhappy with. Or is it because the fence hasn't been built? That might be why. Kitchen's been built now. They're slowly building that wall. Right, so the fence is done, so the yard should be complete. There we go. That should have hot water going through it. Oh, the hot water pipes don't actually re reach the boiler, which was a bit of a mistake by me. So we'll just build that like that, and then we'll have a nice bit of temperature. Because it is zero degrees, so it has actually got very cold suddenly. Uh, why is it still saying that's not enclosed? There's a door there. There's a door... Am I missing something? Why is it saying that's not enclosed? Wall, wall, wall. Doors here, which if I lock them shut. Why is it saying it's not enclosed? Huh. That's a bit weird. What if I de-room it and try it again? Oh, is it... Ah, that might be why. There we go. Okay, I think it's because I had it there and it was confusing it a little bit. Right, so that's everything. So we can hire... Uh, oh, I need to set the person to be researching finance. I should go for security first so I can get deployment. But at the same time, I like money. So we're going to get that grant ticked off. There we go. That's one grant done. So now we have a little bit of money. I think I will build this foundation in sort of preparation, basically. I know I don't need it necessarily right now. I realise I built a table there. Uh, we'll change that later. 
I'll build this foundation because then we're kind of blocked off there, uh, which will be nice. I can get rid of a lot of this planning now. I think. Get rid of all of that because I know what's going there. I think this just helps me kind of remember where everything's going. So if I know this is supposed to be a visitation room, I can I can make it a visitation room straight away, but I, uh, I might do actually. This requires an entrance. I know it does. I will build a staff door. I oh, know it doesn't need to be a staff door. It needs to be a jail door there, and then there needs to be a jail door there. And a large one on the side eventually, but I'm not going to build that yet, because otherwise they can just run off. And we need to change all of this to be a brick wall once this is done. Change that to be a brick wall like that. And I think I'll build a metal detector. Oh, metal detectors. That's what I'm missing. So we'll build some metal detectors. Uh, leaving the canteen or entering? Leaving the canteen, I think, is best. Uh, and maybe... No, that should be fine, I think. Right, we need to... Why isn't that being a found... That needs to be a foundation as well. Come on. There we go. That should fix that problem. So as I said, this isn't going to be used yet, but it's it's useful for me to have it sorted and done. So I can demolish that wall now, because it's behind a door, so it's not like prisoners can just leap in. Right, two minutes until they arrive. There we go. Everything seems to be sorted, I think, although they don't have power. Why don't they have power? Because I forgot to stretch the power up to them. Of course I did. So at the moment, we have no food. Right, those need power as well. I don't think I need any here because they have to go through reception first anyway. We are going to build the solitary doors here and here. I know it's a very stupid place for solitary to go, but it's useful to have in case any of them try to smuggle anything in, because otherwise it gets a bit... It likes to complain about them not having a solitary room. So I think we're going to hire another guard. As, no, we'll hire five guards for eight prisoners. I think that's a good ratio. It just speeds up this search a little bit. So they are just currently walking over the table, so it's fine there. Uh, canteen door can stay open. I think this... No, that door can't stay open. This door... No, I'll leave it closed for now. Right, so I need to hire an accountant, and that'll be the second grant done. Right, so I need to also get the rest of the offices built. I tend to... Th I probably should just build the offices straight away, but I don't like to spend too much money on them. Because I don't like my staff, basically. Right, so we'll just build all these doors. And room them all as offices. Bing, bang, and boom. Like that. Why did I say bing, bang, boom? I've never said bing, bang, boom in my life, but I decided to say it then. Oh, that's a drain. We won't build all the objects in all of them. We'll just build these two because we'll need them quite soon. Uh, so security and maintenance are key, but security first of all so we can get deployment for our staff. Right, I think this is actually going quite well. That is enclosed. Oh, it's not got a door yet. That has. Why isn't this saying it is? Um, there we go. Okay, I just needed to re it, basically. But not all of them seem to have been good. None of them have brought anything in, smuggled anything in. We are already running out of power, so I'm going to slap another two capacitors on it, just to make sure got plenty to expand with. Right. Apart from that, I think everything is going rather well. That's programs, not grants. Let's see what grants we can do. We can get visitation rights, but we need a common room, so we'd need to build that cell block first. Uh, so we'll get cell block A going, because that gives us a nice little money. And actually, yeah, we'll go with visitation rights, because we already have five phone booths. We'll have a visitor table with visitor tables, and we can build a common room there. We're also going to have a quick look at the schedule. For now, we're going to leave shower time. No, we don't need shower time, do we? Because they've got that, and each individual cell, as I said, will have their own shower. So I don't think I really need shower time. So we can have breakfast time there. I like to give them plenty of breakfast. Uh, free time, free time, and then we'll have work, free time, work, free time. Uh, no, we'll have work, free time there. So if they have any programs they need to do, they can do it. Two hours of eating, one hour of yard, and then some free time. No, we'll have... Yard, lock-up, free time, free time. Or we'll have work slash lock-up, work slash lock-up, free time. Free time and then eat. and then I like to give them lots of free time. I don't like to kind of keep everyone locked up for too long. 
I like to be quite nice to them. So with all that done, they are going to have work free time now, so I'm a bit worried they're going to run in here. But we'll start building this foundation, and it shouldn't mess up too much. Uh, although it might do a little bit. We'll give it a go. We'll see what happens here. And then all of that needs to be a foundation as well as this and that. Right, so I'm going to fast forward it, see how this is building, and then if it goes wrong, it goes wrong, but we'll see how it goes. They do need to run around, which is a bit annoying. Uh, they also need a large jail door here and here in preparation. And another one here, just so we're done with that. We will need to replace a lot of this. Obviously, we need to change the position of that door because it's going to be blocked. And those metal detectors. But because we've got storage, it's not like it's going to be just wasted. We can just move it around. Uh, no extra cost, which is fine. Why have they built a wall there like that? I don't know. I guess it does block it off quite nicely. We are going to have to do a lot of work to replace these fences, which is a bit annoying. Right, so they've built the foundation now, so that's fine. Uh, brick wall like that. We need a brick wall. Not quite sure why they haven't built foundations there. Because I did ask them to. So we'll get that sorted. In the meantime, they can start building there. We can... No, we'll leave everything else for now. We'll just get that done and then we can build a common room there. This, as I said, will be visitation. So we might as well mark that up now. Like that. To there. Uh, doesn't actually have power all the way across. We'll connect the power up like that. Uh, what does it need? Visit a table. Okay, I was right with the sizes. That's good. We'll build four for now. And some visitation booths. I did realise I haven't really thought about the other entrance. Maybe it can be... Uh, if we demolish that, uh, make that another solitary room. Okay, I can't for some reason. It's weird. Um, oh, that was a dormitory, that's why. There we go, solitary. Have they not built the door there? I thought I asked them to. Yeah. Oh, but they can't get through because of that. That makes more sense now. So we'll build the um, large jail door here for now. I know it's not the nicest entrance, but then we can also have a metal detector, if I can find it, there it is, uh, here. So if anyone tries to smuggle anything in, they're going to get caught by that, hopefully. Right, this has all been built except for those so why are they building those bits of brick wall? I don't quite know. Um, so we'll just get start rooming up these cells. We're only going to get 15 cells, but that meets the grant. So we're not going to have a huge amount of prisoners to start with. But I think it's a good starting amount. So we'll build it like that. This is going to be our common room. Uh, that needs to be a brick wall as well. We can demolish that, and eventually we'll dismantle this door, and this will be the entrance in. But I don't want to build that yet while they're still building in there, so we'll leave it as it is for now. Uh, visitation room being built. We'll need a pool table and a common room. A uh, pool table and two TVs. We've got one TV, uh, so we'll add a pool table. Uh, oh dear, that's not quite right, but we'll, it'll do. And then we'll build a sofa and a TV like that. And then we'll build some chairs in preparation for some of the programs where they need to sit around and talk about things. So there we go. That's that other grant done. And it gives us a visitation room, which is going to help their moods. We'll get uh, security as well. Because I believe that's what we're researching at the moment. Right, I think I'm going to wrap it up there, actually. I think that's a good time to stop while we're kind of mid... At, uh, yeah, while we're mid-build. Okay, maybe not the best time to stop. But I feel like this has been a good positive start. Um, you know, we've got the security... Basically, the problem I had in my first prison was I forgot to secure the road. So you'll escape. So I'm already a step ahead of that. But, you know, I've got a visitation room, which is really going to help their need for family. They've got lots of phone booths as well. Common room so they can relax. We're going to have a bit nice big cell block, 15 prisoners in each cell block. Big holding cell with showers. So we can keep a continuous intake going. And they should be fairly comfortable. I can always add some bunk beds in there. Officers are pretty much sort. Why is that saying 4x4? Four four? Oh, okay. That's why, because I messed that up. So there we go. We've got an office. 
fact, okay, we don't have any staff. We've got a staff room, storage room, kitchen and canteen. Nice big kitchen and canteen, so that's going to serve a lot of prisoners as we expand. Nice common room, cells, as I said. So I think this is a pretty good start. Maybe the utility room, not the best position, but it'll be fine. So I hope you're looking forward to this series. I'm quite, you know, looking forward to, to playing this series. I, I really do like this game, and I enjoy this game a lot. Uh, shout out to my friend Emma for pestering me to play this game. Uh, I used the word pester correctly there. Uh, so yeah, here it is. I'm actually playing it. So yes, thank you very much for watching. If you have enjoyed this video and you are looking forward to the series, please do feel free to leave a like. I mess that up so much. Just ignore that. Uh, <laughs> I'll see you next time. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you. I've messed up my outro completely. I'm going to go now. Bye.